Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing multicast in the one minute pool on ICC. I got a ringer right off the bat in multicast. Uh, this is pretty interesting, actually, because this was a guy I was discussing yesterday. I don't know who he is. He's anonymous, and he's ridiculously high rated and good. Like, I can tell this guy's just a super strong player. So, I mean, he might be like a super GM for all I know. It's just, I don't know. It might be Magnus Carlsen. Someone said because his initials are MC. Maybe it is Magnus. <laughs> so you just never know, right? Um, I think I have a pretty decent position right here. I like what's happening here. Uh, maybe we'll go bishop b5. See if we can just trade some stuff off on the c6 square. We'll go knight e5 again. Um, I don't know what to do against that move. It's slightly annoying. I'll just go here. Just so knight c3 doesn't like surprise me. Uh, let's go queen a1. Maybe I can go e4. Let's see if he jumps this knight into c3 or not. I was thinking I can go rook c2 against that. Um, he instantly saw that tactic. Instantly, I say. Wow, he inst in instantly saw that too. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, this guy's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, I'm probably just Time losing board. this position. I will try my best to, uh, I don't know, cook something up. I don't know what I can do though with the current material balance. Yeah, I'm just busted now. F6, super accurate. <laughs> okay, I resign. Good game, multicast. Let's see if we get him again. He's, he's listed as like Azerbaijan or something, but um, I would doubt that that's the case. Yeah, please post your speculations about who multicast is. <laughs> is it Nakamura? Is it Carlson? Is it some other GM who's super strong? I mean, this has got to be a GM. There's there's no way this isn't a GM. And they ha also happen to be a really strong bullet player, which is pretty rare. You don't see too many grandmasters who are also super strong in bullets. So. As it stands here, I like my position. I did beat him one game yesterday when we played. Um, he got me, okay, that was kind of a weak move because he has 95, but he got me, uh, what, two out of three? But I did win one game. Can he do that? I guess he can. He's threatening to take on F7. Annoying. Um, I guess I'll just go here. I really hate having to abandon that file, though. My knight is awkwardly placed now. Hmm. Okay, I'll go here. Definitely awkwardly placed knight. Time warning. Oh, man. Okay. He's just tying like all my pieces up. Just queen d8 is good now. Yeah, this is bad. It's over. Trap my rook. All right, so just like that, I'm under 2,600. <laughs> I didn't catch a break with my first opponent, but... That's why I played these guys. Yeah, my position was okay. Queen c6 was really dumb. Um, I don't know. Knight e5 is surprisingly good. I can't take on a3 because he takes on f7. Right? And then if king takes f7, queen takes e6, check. King f8, queen e7, check. And he picks up my loose rook. So I don't know if I have another better way to deal with this. Let's just see real quick with the engine. Apparently not. Queen e8. White is clearly better, though. It's just like, boom, like every move is accurate. Or key three. I mean, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this guy was a computer, but somehow it doesn't quite feel like a computer. Computers like putting knights on c6 for no reason, though. And then back to f6 for some reason. Okay. Um, all right, let's go here. Mm-hmm. I'll go bishop or knight here and maybe bishop. Uh, I was going to say bishop to f3, but that was a moot point. I think I'm a little bit worse in this position still. Maybe I can go a4. Try to go a5. But he has the bishop pair and uh, a pretty pleasant position. I guess I go here. I 
feel like I'm having to be super careful. Uh, he's already up a lot of time. Mm, just going to go here. I don't know what to do. There's not much I can do. <laughs> this is kind of funny. I wonder if he's actually going to try to do something. This is how a computer would behave. <laughs> if he's actually going to try for a plan. Honestly, this is how a computer would play. Is he going to do something? Maybe. Uh oh. Let's see if I can flag it. Him. Let's see if I can flag him. <laughs> Check. This just seems like a otherworldly opponent to me. Check. I'm not going to flag it. Highly doubtful. Highly, highly doubtful. Ooh, I did actually flag it. That's weird. That's really weird. I don't know. Um, like, it could, even though, okay, I honestly feel like a human bullet player would uh, try to make progress in this position. And granted, he did make progress. But. You know when computers get in positions where they don't know what to do? And I'm just worse here, right? Like I have, He has the bishop pair, I have a worse pawn structure. But maybe it's a position where the engine just doesn't know what to do. Um, I have to be really careful. I don't want to call this guy an engine, but <laughs> he plays a lot like a computer. Just like the perfect technique and everything. I don't know. I really don't know. The putting the knights on c6 and such. C6, C3. Very computer-y. I think I just had to play fast and like avoid like outright losing against these. Like if um if I get in a tactical position, I'm probably toast against whoever this player is. Like this position's okay. I mean, I don't mind this. Guess I'll just take. So this is like a nice technical position. Um, okay. Nice technical position, right? <laughs> uh, all right, let's go a5. Double the rooks up. You can check, right? Check. King e4. Check. This reminds me a lot of a game him and I had yesterday, actually. Draw? Check. Guess I'll offer him a draw. Check. This reminds me a lot of a game Time him and I had work. yesterday. Check. Hmm. I think I'm losing this. Yeah, I'm losing this one. Check. Alright, <laughs> I blew that end game. Hmm. Yeah, I just lost that end game. Huh. Rook F8 is annoying. I really shouldn't lose this position, though, should I? I mean, right around here, I, I definitely shouldn't lose this endgame. Hmm. Well, multicast, you got the better of me again today. I'm still going to try to play you. I'm in the pool. I'm just enter and leave, see if I can get him again. Hmm.
Yeah, I mean, the engine prefers black. I'm doing pretty well all the way up through here. Now it's like dead equal. Should have played Rook takes G2 right away. Yeah, why didn't I do that? Weird. Okay, well, we got him again. We're going to witness another knight on C6? Maybe. Maybe. Mm. He's going to play B5. Yeah, I shouldn't have allowed this. This was not good to allow. Hmm. Go F5 now. Yeah, annoying. F4. <laughs> Very accurate once again. Uh, okay, I'll take. Ugh. Every move. There's something new going on. Probably losing this position. <clears throat> yeah, just a, ch a tough position to defend. <sighs> yeah, this is pretty much over. If I take that, like, G6 comes. Yeah, I don't think I would be able to hold this, guys. Time warning. King takes E6. Yeah, over. <laughs> Multicast is just like feeding on my rating right now. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this this was not a good idea by me to um I mean E4 is a move here, but he has B5 against that, I believe. Is one line. Yeah, I should have played bishop takes c4. That's what I should have done. Oops. Okay, so now we got a different opponent. Well, active king is a nice break from Mr. Multicast, who I <laughs> I'm sort of baffled by how he's so good. And who he is, of course, the great mystery. Uh, queen e2. I'm going to take the pawn on c2 against this. This is the critical line. Drop this bishop back. This is the critical way to play in this line. He stops me from castling, so I'll go queen d6. I'll go knight here. And then try to bring this knight to b6. Okay, now I like this position a lot for me. Uh, let's just go here. And maybe we'll castle long. I think so, actually. He'll probably start shifting his pieces back over to uh, the queen side. Mm, let's go with g8. Maybe here. Bishop g4 is a threat now. This is a really nice position. Didn't see bishop g4. And now, okay, let's go here. I have in mind some ideas of sacrificing on g3. Mm, let's just take that guy and hide our king. Let's go here. Time warning. Um, let's go here. We can take this way. Keep our uh, king safe for the moment. Ooh, I just hung my rook. He didn't see it. Okay, so 2582 after that game. Maybe we'll get another game or two with multicast? I don't know. He doesn't appear on the... Oh, he, he's now appearing on the best list. Okay, he wasn't before. He wasn't appearing on the best list earlier. Hmm, he did actually lose a game or two. Black resigns. Huh. 
Yeah, it's either someone really, really strong or a computer. One of the two. I hate to just speculate like that, <laughs> but, you know, there's it's untitled account. Like, his records are ridiculous. So, it's probably a really strong human, I'm going to bet. Like, uh, someone uh, not quite Nakamura caliber, but close. He's too slow to be Nakamura. I mean, you saw the one game where I had a chance against him. He just didn't finish me off because he was a little bit too slow. Okay, it's our buddy Songlo. I'm going to employ the anti-Songlo strategy of uh, pushing, or no, playing on the flank. So playing on the flank. That's the anti-Songlo. Songlo is a guy I can understand, you know. I've got more of a bead on Songlo's style. Check. <laughs> Songlo's on my level. Isn't that just a pawn? His rook is on g5. This is like par for the course for our games. I can take his pawn on d5 next. But his rook is nearly trapped too. I get to win all these tempos going and attacking it. Like this. Oh, but he can take d6. Duh. Oh, whatever. I'll just take with the knight here. Um, Can't I win your rook somehow? Check. Guess not. <laughs> this looks so dangerous for Songlo. Uh, what is going on? I must be winning here. Check. Where is my win? Uh, check. check, I guess. Check. <laughs> it's just completely desperate position. Mm-hmm. Time. Okay, let's take. Check. Check. Okay, I'm winning that rook now. No, I'm not. I'm not winning that rook. Ugh. <clears throat> I don't even know what to think about this position. Don't even know what to think right now. Uh, let's just go back. Do not even know what to think about this. Check. Oh, I got him at the end. <laughs> I had so many wins in that game, that was ridiculous. All right, GM Pikachu. Apparently, this is uh, Rogelio Barcenia. Someone said in the chat the other day. I played this guy, um, you know, just yesterday. So, Barcenia. I believe he lives in Arizona. I want to say. Go Queen B six. Looks interesting. Just try to mess with his um, flow of development. But how about F six? Knock down his center. Maybe this knight will come back to F seven. Seems good. Hmm. All right, let's take. You can take on d5. I also could have taken on c3 with check last move, and then maybe taken on b2. Check. Regardless, let's just get the queens off the board. Uh, this is winning material, is it not? Uh, okay. Check. We'll go win that rook in the corner, and then focus on trying to get our knight out. Here I have bishop c5 as a threat. He has to be aware of that. He is. I'll try to go, hmm, I'll just go here first. Include everyone. I'm going to go here. Uh, that move. He does have bishop d5. Didn't see it. Check. Um, let's just go here. This is kind of a weird position. Let's go here and then get my knight out through c2. Check. Yeah, now he's he's got to be on his last legs now. Check. Time. Mm -hmm. If I can figure out how to win. Check. Now I got his bishop. That's over. Okay, I'm 25.99, playing Pikachu again. Let's see if we can get, get him in this exchange variation. We played the same line yesterday, I believe. And I got a good position yesterday, I think, too. 
Uh, rook c1 is the move. And a3. Maybe he'll improve over his play yesterday. He did the same thing yesterday. Check. Let me come down here and check him. Yeah, same exact line as yesterday. Check. Isn't this just bad? We had the same position. He's losing a piece. Once again. That's funny. It's not often you can get the uh, same exact position. Um, I'm just going to take this way this time. Yesterday I played... Uh, what did I play yesterday? I forgot. Oh, whoa, whoa. Why did I do that? Oh, that was really dumb. Oh my gosh. Check. F3 check. Ugh. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Check. This is just painful. <laughs> Check. All right. <laughs> I just dropped my knight on d2 for no reason. Yeah, that's funny. Yesterday I played um, I played rook c to c7, which is probably the strongest move. I don't know why I didn't do it this time around. And then here I had knight takes e4, but for some reason I decided that uh, I didn't have to do that. <laughs> wow. Okay. So another Scandinavian against Pikachu. He didn't choose a very good setup. Check. I'll take this way, even though knight takes f6 is good. Non-threatening mate. He's got to be careful. Uh, I'll just castle first. I'll go c5. Check. Boy, you got to be really careful here. If you're black, or if you're white, I mean. There's just so much heat coming down in his position. Um, okay, let's go here. How oh, is this not winning for me? E3? Huh, okay, whatever. I'll just go back. I don't have time to think about it. But I'm going to go F5 next. Now he made that simple. Now he's going to throw his pawns at me. Time warning. Let's go F5. Let's go here. Okay, so now I'm threatening mate on, uh, or I was threatening mate, I should say. Let's go here. This is like incoming mate, I think. Check. 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 All right. Yeah, we got him. Okay, 2591. Um, let's see if I can get Pikachu again. And I might wrap it up in another game or two. Really weird session. <laughs> It's a great session. I've been playing some good players. Um, I want to crack the multicast mystery, but alas, it might be something that uh, doesn't come to light for quite a while, if ever. Just never know. It's probably just some really good player who wants to be anonymous, who plays in a computer like way. Hmm, okay. Stokesy Redcliffe got to Pikachu before I did. Fell down the best list a little bit. Oh, I'm, I'm right up there with Caruana, though. You know, if um, Fabiano and I are the same rating, I can live with that. I mean, I'm not happy about it, but it's it's not going to leave me up at night. So. <laughs> One or two more games. We'll watch the Pikachu game until I get a match. That's so funny that I had the exact same line against Pikachu, and I just played it in a much worse way this time around. All right, Demir, this guy is pretty fast, I think. It's probably pretty decent. Okay, so that's a free pawn. Let's go here, make his life miserable getting that pawn back. Okay. 
just uh, moving his knight around willy-nilly. Okay, let's take there. Go here. So long as he has a hard time developing. This check. is a check that I can do. And I just win a piece. Okay. All right, one more game. We'll wrap it up. That guy played really fast, but very bad. <laughs> he used 13 seconds for 26 moves, but uh, found himself down a rook and a bishop at the end. I think this is Demir Student from Georgia, I want to say. Yeah. One I am Norm, according to his notes. Get better at chess. It's kind of a funny position. Wow, black's going to go for the win. Ooh, that was not a good move by white. That's funny. The windmill strikes. Queen takes h6 was probably decent there, wasn't it? All right, Stokesy Redcliffe will be our last opponent of the evening. Ugh, so slow. I'm going to do this line again. Oop, he didn't let me. Okay, I'll take here now. Um, this is this is okay as a variation. It's nothing special, but go here. Can I take this guy? I don't know. Probably not, but... Actually, if he takes on e4, um, I had something against that. Knight takes e6, I think. So actually, I think I can get away with that. I'll double my rooks on the d file now. Seems like a decent plan. Knight a4, maybe try to get into b6. What's he going to do about that? Looks mighty annoying. I'm going to go here, just to cover f6, because I plan to bring my rook into d7. So I'd like to cover that. I'm also attacking uh, the a5 square, too. So, um, okay, let's, let's bring the rook in anyways, even though he can take and double up our pawns. If rook d8, he would lose something. Um, here, okay, that... What's going on if he does that? Okay. That didn't work, right? Because I can just take here. Yeah, I'm up a piece. Okay, let's go here. Bring the rook down. Mm-hmm. Bishop d5 is probably a good Time move that warning. is coming up. I just got to play a little faster, though. Check. Uh, where's Check. my mate? He's going to, like, push a pawn or something. Oh, I had rook g8. I totally didn't see... Actually... Checkmate. Okay, I didn't have rook g8 last move because he could escape to f7, but... All right, so with that victory, we push our rating over 2600. I'm 2603. Um, let's tally the results for the session. So started with multicast here, and, yeah, I got a half, to, half out of five beat down. <laughs> which plummeted our rating to 2576, but then I had a nice little comeback, and I scored 3 out of 7 in the remaining ones. So that's what, 12 games? We just double check, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, and I scored, uh, what, 6.5? 6.5 out of 12, which doesn't seem like a good session given my rating, but yeah, multicast, he's just such a beast that, um, you know, it turned out to be an all right session. And I am on the list at number four, a little bit down from the other day. I was number two. Multicast just lording over everyone in that number one spot right there. So, yeah, if you guys have any idea about him, I'd love to hear it because this guy just, uh, it's a mystery, and he's really good. So, all right, well, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with another bullet video tomorrow. Talk to you guys later. Bye.